Where was Glasgow's close encounter of the third kind? And what's made in the city that boldly goes where no Glaswegian has gone before? Find out now in this episode of Astonishing Glasgow. This episode starts all the way across the city for me, but it's nothing compared to the journey taken by the subject of this episode. I've parked outside Lamb Hill Cemetery on Balmore Road so that I can visit Postle Marsh. Now a quiet-ish nature reserve, this was once a very busy sandstone quarry when in 1804 it came from outer space. It was the morning of April 5th, 1804, and as men were working in the quarry, a loud noise that was said to continue for almost two minutes drew the attention of all who heard it. It was so loud, apparently, that a dog got so scared it ran home, shortly followed by the ten-year-old boy and the four-year-old boy that were walking it. What they were watching was a meteorite strike, the very first to be recorded in Scotland and as can be seen from this reconstruction, it caused great alarm to those who witnessed it. At the furthest end of the nature reserve, there is a stone marker to commemorate the event. It's not the easiest to read from the video, but the inscription says, The High Postle Meteorite, near this site on the 5th of April 1804, fell the first recorded meteorite in Scotland. The important part being near, as there is no way to pinpoint the exact location, especially as the quarry has now been filled in, and spoiler alert, this stone is considerably bigger than the actual meteorite. The parts of the meteorite were recovered from around 15 inches deep in the ground, much to the disappointment of the men who found them as they were hoping it would be a cannonball. Thinking nothing of the strange rocks, the men threw them to one side. The largest piece ended up in the rubbish and vanished forever, but once the detail reached the landowner, Robert Crawford, the smallest fragment was recovered. The very first and the largest meteorite to be recovered in Scotland, that very fragment is now on display in the Hunterian Museum at Glasgow University, after being gifted by Miss Crawford in 1810. It doesn't look like much, but as it could be 4,500 million years old, and all the way from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, it is a pretty spectacular lump of rock. My camera seemed to be having a really hard time focusing on the fragment on the day I visited, so why not visit the Hunterian Museum for yourself when you get a chance? It's not often you see something that old. I mean, that's older than your gran. I will leave a link to the Hunterian Museum website in the description below this video. 
And while you're there, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you would like to help me make more Astonishing Glasgow videos, click that super thanks button and leave a small donation. It would be greatly appreciated. So what's Glasgow's current link to the final frontier? <coughs> would you believe that in a top secret laboratory in the Sky Park Complex, 8 Elliot Place, Glasgow, right next to the Clydeside Expressway, is the lab of Spire Global. In the last five years, 40 satellites built in Glasgow have been launched into space, where they are used amongst other things to predict climate change, track ships at sea and follow weather patterns. We might not build many ships in Glasgow, so it's astonishing to think that we now build spaceships. Kind of. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Glasgow's Intergalactic Connections. If so, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a donation if you're feeling really generous. These are the names of some of the astonishing people who clicked that super thanks button over the last few videos. Thank you very much. Please remember to check out my channel where there are many more episodes of Astonishing Glasgow. Or wait till the end where there are some links that you might just want to click. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time an astonishing Glasgow. I think you better just come down. Nay, people are looking. Who's looking? Nay, people over there. Where? You don't see them? Over there. Oh, aye. I think you're right. I should probably just come down. Here. Uh, here. I'm too old for this shit. Uh, hey, wait for me. Right, I'm away from Mars Bar. See you all later.